so the way that these devices work is rather than beating like the normal heart, which beats around you know, 35, 40 million times per year, um, existing devices use balloons to replicate that. But you can imagine a balloon inflating and deflating that many times, it's gonna wear out very quick. Mm. These devices use a, a disc that magnetically levitates and spins around just like a fish tank pump oh, at right. home. Yeah. Um, to pump blood, to continuously pump blood around the body and don't necessarily need to have a pulse. So who would get them? Like who'd be kind of first first in line to, to be able to make use of something like this? So, so patients that are typically eligible for a transplant but are waiting for one would be the first ones to receive this, the patients that really urgently need it.